What I enjoy about making jewellery is that it's on a small scale. I like working small using intricate techniques. I like to use metal. I love using metal and I also enjoy colour which brings in the enamel. Enamel for me is, it just creates a painting in, in a piece of jewellery. My inspirations stem from when I first moved to Edinburgh. I loved all the, the streets lined with um, buildings and windows and the repetition that you found on every street corner. The old sort of industrial feel you get to Edinburgh sometimes and also the other part where you've got the, the meadows and the fields which is a really nice contrast. So I went through town taking photographs of buildings, the textures, the patterns you find on bricks and pavements. I'm making um, a series of brooches and rings and a large scale neck piece. The brooches that I'm making are made from steel and iron binding wire. Binding wire is normally used to tie together two pieces of precious material, but I'm going to use this as a main focus for my work. And I pour on industrial liquid enamel and then fire it in a kiln at about 800 degrees. To create textures after I've, I've fired it in the kiln, I pour on um, traditional powder enamels, which are then fired underfired in the kiln at about 750 degrees and this gives a sort of um, gritty rough texture to the to the enamel. The work that I'm working on at the minute is all to do with the rusting process of iron and steel binding wire. I found that when I suspended the enamel into a salt water solution that the rust starts to eat, eat through the enamel that's been fired onto it and hopefully this is something that I'm going to continue in researching further. Obviously, traditional enamels, everybody has an idea what that is and I hope to sort of challenge this idea of traditional enamelling and bringing it into a contemporary visual world really. And I think it's sort of pushing the boundaries of enamel and jewellery and taking it a step further.